in your nature, you in your body. Listen, Paul says, for I know that in my body nothing good can come out of it. For what I want to do, I do not do, but which that I hate, I do. It is because when you are controlled by your flesh, you do the things of the flesh, the desires of the flesh, all the things that the flesh want. But when the Spirit of the Lord is inside of you, you are able to do all that God wants you to do. You are able to do all that God has purposed you to do. Yeah, I'm, I just want to share with you this morning that self-righteousness, my brethren, it kills everybody. If you try to be righteous, you find yourself in the same sin that you were doing before. But if you allow the Spirit of the Lord to work in you, you allow the Spirit of the Lord to move in you, you allow the Spirit of the Lord to show you the way. I'm telling you, my brethren, that if you only allow God, you will be able to live in His good will and His good purpose. This morning, allow me to tell you that when you live by the law, you are out of the glory of the grace of God. You have have fallen from the grace of God. You are not counted in the grace of God. But when you live by the grace of God, when you live in the grace, under the grace of God, you are counted in Christ Jesus. The Bible says, for he has given us the right to be called the children of God. But listen, the Jewish people were given the law to follow while... And this law was con- uh, 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 conditional that if you do the law, I will bless you. If you don't do it, I will curse you. But listen to me. In grace, there is no condition. You live for God and he helps you to do it because he knows that you yourself, you cannot do it. But by his help, if you allow him to live in you, if you allow him to move in you. For the Bible says, he that is controlled by the flesh, uh, uh, pleases the flesh and is the enemy of God but he who is pleased who who is led by the spirit pleases God for God is spirit allow me allow me to tell you this time that when you allow the spirit of the Lord to move in you you allow the spirit of the Lord to do things in you you allow the spirit of the Lord to